Welcome to the City of Tiberias Solid Waste Division. We have composed this video to assist our residents with proper yard debris and bulk disposal. With your help, we can collect these items for all our residents more efficiently and safely. The mission of the Solid Waste Division is to provide clean, efficient, and reliable service for collection and disposal of municipal solid waste from within the City of Tiberias while maintaining volunteer recycling programs through educational initiatives. Please ensure your tree limbs are placed in one tall, compact pile in an area free from obstruction. For your and our driver safety, please refrain from placing your debris piles beneath a tree or low-hanging wires. Avoid placing piles on top of your sprinklers and utility boxes, and ensure that piles are at least four feet away from items such as poles, street signs, mailboxes, vehicles, and your trash carts. Your yard debris should be separated from bagged items such as leaves and household garbage, as well as other bulk items to include lumber, concrete, pipes, and other landscaping materials like mulch bags and flower pots. The limbs should be no greater than six feet in length for safe removal and should be stacked parallel to the road. Improper placement along with long and narrow piles creates a longer pickup time per residence. Place all of your debris in one heaping pile rather than several small piles along your property's edge. Let's take a look at Solid Waste Manager, Jeff Henderson, pick up this improperly placed debris. Notice as the driver approaches the pile of debris, he is carefully assessing the area and surrounding hazards, paying special attention to the overhead wires that run over the property and over the roadway. Once the truck is in the safest location for pickup, the driver sets the outriggers to stabilize the truck. Now that the truck is in place, Jeff takes special care and caution to slowly operate the boom around the surrounding hazards. Extra time is taken to maneuver the debris around the poles and street sign to prevent damage to them as well as the truck. This also applies when operating near your mailboxes, vehicles, low-hanging trees, and other items that could be along the road. If you look further down the street, you can see another driver, Stanley Miller, operating the other claw truck and disposing of the piles at a much faster rate. These piles were properly placed with no surrounding obstructions. It is imperative that you place your piles in a clear and open area to prevent unnecessary delays. We have an outstanding crew in our solid waste division and with a little extra help from our citizens, we can service more houses daily and clean up the storm debris at a much faster pace. After each load, the driver packs down the debris to make additional room in the bed of the truck so he is able to service more houses in one load. As he lifts the boom to dispose of the debris, he is always aware of the overhead electrical wires to make sure he keeps the boom and the debris a safe distance away from the wires. Surrounding hazards impede the driver's normal pickup rate and decreases the amount of homes he is able to service in one workday.
As you can see, this pickup took the solid waste manager 9 minutes and 17 seconds to safely dispose of the pile in its entirety. Simply placing the pile away from the power lines, telephone pole, and street sign could have saved the driver 5 minutes at this one residence. Adding an extra 5 minutes per residence in our service area equals approximately 500 additional hours. This means adding an additional 50 10-hour working days to our storm cleanup efforts. This is a photo of the total storm debris collected from Hurricane Irma so far. We still have many more streets throughout the city to service. You can help our efforts and speed up our collection times by following the guidelines set within this video. Please call our office if you have any further questions at 352-742-6221 or visit our division page that can be found on the City of Tiberias website. Thank you for helping to keep America's Seaplane City beautiful.